সালামু আলাইকুম সুপ্রিয় দর্শক মণ্ডলী আমাদের অনেক ধন্যবাদ আমাদের সাথে থাকার জন্য আমরা আমাদের প্রোগ্রামের তৃতীয় সেগমেন্টে এসে গেছি আর এই সেগমেন্টে আমাদের আলোচ্য বিষয় হলো স্কটিশ ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্স অ্যান্ড ন্যাশনাল ইলেকশন ইন টু থাউজেন্ড ফিফটিন আপনারা জানেন অতি শীঘ্রই আমি আট এইটিনথ অফ সেপ্টেম্বর ন্যাশনাল স্কটল্যান্ডে একটা রেফারেন্ডাম হতে যাচ্ছে আর সেই রেফারেন্ডামের যদি এস নো অপশন থাকবে যদি এস হয় তাহলে হয়তো আমাদের অনেকেরই ভিজা লাগবে আমাদের স্কটল্যান্ডে যেতে আর স্কটল্যান্ড হয়ে যাবে একটা ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট কান্ট্রি তো আপনারা জানেন অনেকেই যেটা থ্রি হান্ড্রেড মোর দ্যান থ্রি হান্ড্রেড ইয়ার্স অফ হিস্ট্রি উই লিভ টুগেদার উই ওয়ার্ক টুগেদার উই শেয়ার্ড আওয়ার কমন ভ্যালিউস অ্যান্ড থরেস্ট অল অফ দিস অল ওভার দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড কিন্তু তারা এই তিন তিনশো বছর পরে এসে তাদের ভিতরে একটা ন্যাশনালিজম গ্রো করেছে যে তারা দে ওয়ান্ট টু সি অ্যাজ অ্যান ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট কান্ট্রি আর সেটা নিয়ে আমি আলোচনা করব আলোচনার প্রথমে যদি ফাই আস্ক ম্যাথিউ অ্যাজ অ্যাজ ওয়াই আই এম গোয়িং অ্যাগেন থার্ড সেগমেন্ট ফার্স্ট বিকজ ইউ আর স্ট্যান্ডিং অ্যাজ অ্যান এমপি দ্যাট কুড বি এ কনস্টিটিউশনাল ক্রাইসিস ইন ইন ফিউচার ইফ ইট ইজ গোস ইয়েস সো জাস্ট টেল মি as short you can as you know time is is really constrained here uh scottish independence what does it mean for uk and scotland uh well it's absolutely fatal and catastrophic for the united kingdom because the united kingdom would cease to exist uh i think it would destabilize the relations between england wales and northern ireland the remainder of the uk because the uk would become even more weighted towards uh one of its constituent parts namely england uh i think that uh for those um for 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 for, for those uh, people who who are from uh, whose heritage was settled here after the second world war people from the commonwealth people who have invested a generation or so acquiring a british identity they'd find themselves asking themselves the question well am i now english or british am i welsh or british am i northern irish or british uh, i think it would diminish um the standing of the remainder of the uk internationally uh, it may even necessarily require our eviction from the un security council it may cause to reappraise our well not reappraise our membership of nato but we would have less of a say in nato uh, it would reduce our economic standing and i think the uk has a vital world role to play Uh, and if you think of the implications in terms of prestige of losing a constituent part of the united kingdom we would have we would face that argument whenever we persuaded any other country in the world to behave differently or to adopt a set of institutions or practices or rules that were british in origin i think scotland stands to to lose uh, international standing i think that it, being a sm- far smaller nation at this point in time would be uh, extremely short sighted i think the world is likely to become more dangerous before it's likely to become more stable and peaceful and being part of a larger country with a larger defense establishment and and a, and a larger foreign policy presence is uh, extremely valuable i think at the same time scotland would be better placed to weather economic instability if it was part of the fiscal transfer mechanisms and the monetary policy of the united kingdom as a whole um it's important to remember that the single um currency zone that is the sterling united kingdom single currency zone one of the zone, oldest yeah, yeah, and the strongest yeah, it, it, currency it, system in the world pre- pre- precisely it's far more uh, stable and far more successful than say the european single currency uh, uh and, and for for the snp to suggest they could leave the united kingdom but retain sterling they were effectively adopting a currency that would be set by the uh, monetary policy committee of the bank of england with no scottish representation on it whatsoever so 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 the the the, the, the fatal error in weak currency unions namely there not being any political consensus underpinning them would cause huge damage to scotland's economy but matthew as you mentioned as a currency association as um, we have seen actually just uh, some days ago is elisa mm. darling and, and alex simon uh, mm. uh, debate he couldn't give actually uh, he couldn't defend mm. how he will do this alternate currency if mm. uk uh, denied you mm. still with, mm. with 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 scotland but the the biggest thing for him is ideological actually mm. is sort of nationalism mm. um he wants to uh, portray himself is mm. sort of uh, uh is the is the founder of scotland sort mm. of is is a mm. modern mm. and father of scotland and mm. and the biggest thing in his head is working uh, is a nationalism mm. so some nationalism and extremism is not as, it's not far are a difference if you want to explain i mean uh he wants to see actually as a scottish he mm. want to be proud yes that's exactly that's exactly that's exactly the same time and self determination mm. if someone doesn't want to stay with you and and even the prime minister as well he said obviously we always expect scotland will be with us it mm. is rich history shared mm. history mm. hundreds of years share everything mm. but if really they want they have right to do that mm. so mm. what is your opinion with this is this oh, I, I, think, I think i think i think i think i think you absolutely right. i mean um, there's nothing to stop scotland from leaving the united kingdom um 
uh, Scotland could choose to leave the United Kingdom in 2014 or, or whenever the negotiations of their end concluded, just in the same way as Ireland left the United Kingdom in 1922. Mm -hmm. uh, however, the, 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 the point is this, the, the, it appears to be the case that the vast majority of Scots, as per the vast majority of Englishmen, Welshmen and Northern, Ireland, Northern Irishmen, wish to remain part of the United Kingdom. A majority of Scots wish to send representatives to the UK Parliament because they have a British identity. They have a dual identity, yeah, and a majority of Scots feel they can rec reconcile that within the context of being part of their Scottishness, within the context of being part of the United Kingdom, in the same way as, as I, being Welsh, would reconcile being Welsh with being British as well, similarly, uh, somebody who lives in England. Okay, do you think if, if say, is, is it for the sake of argument, if Scotland goes mm. independent, do you think that is called ripple effect? Is going to go to Wales and Northern Ireland. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think that's a very, very important point. There are two t types of ripples that I think would cascade. Uh, you're absolutely right to talk about Wales, Northern Ireland, and England. Um, Northern Ireland. Uh, Nor I mean, uh, there's a huge Scottish um, cultural influence in Northern Ireland. Uh, so, so that that would have an impact in Northern Ireland. It would have an impact um, uh, on Wales as well. Wales and, and Northern Ireland would find themselves an even smaller share of the UK population overall. England already accounts for about 86 percent of the UK's population. Hmm that it would be an even larger proportion without uh, Scotland. So there would be a knock-on effect indirectly for Wales okay. and Northern Ireland. There'd be a knock-on effect. There is a possibility yeah. in yeah. case. Yeah. Okay, there is a risk. Okay. So, it's, uh, so Moniva, if, 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 as you are representing from a community, as a, as you, you, you write regularly, you, you, you're a writer as well in the columnist. So what do you think our community obviously is i don't think is mass i mean so much bengali live in bangladeshi origin people are living in scotland it's a, it's, it's a very less number of people mm -hmm. what is the advice for them and and our community how they can play their role actually i'm the age of the part that's the emotional member substantially scotland and that's why Scotland, even if we are talking about it, we will not be able to do it. 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 We will not be able to do আমরা যখন বাঙালি আছি এই দেশে আমরাও চাই যে ইংল্যান্ডটা আগে যেরকম ছিল সেরকম থাক আর আর এই আর ইংল্যান্ড তো জোর করে স্কটল্যান্ডকে দখল করে নাই স্কটল্যান্ড নিজে থেকে এসে জন করেছিল তিন আর তিন সময় সব আগে এবং তাদের একটা ইমোশনাল ব্যাপারে ওই আলেক্স আমন ফাদার হতে চায় ফাদার অফ স্কটল্যান্ড ফাদার অফ স্কটল্যান্ড এই ইমোশনাল ইমোশনাল so I, you know, tagat poki bo budde. So this is the but it's a Matthew mention actually. It's, 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 it's eight point three percent population. I mean, whole United Kingdom in Scotland. Hmm. Eight point two percent. Sorry, eight point two percent. So you mean with regards to the in the whole UK? Yeah, proportion yeah. of the people. Yeah, uh, yeah. population. Yeah. So. Yeah, we But remember. At the same time, Scotland is contributing in the UK economy. I think they mm. are doing 8.3% of tax mm. so far in the whole mm. UK economy. Mm. So it's so their point. We can run our country. Well, well uh, of course, Ms. Scott, I mean, it's, it's Scott, Scotland could and, legitimately and choose to go independent and, and, and perhaps be poorer, but, and that would be a question for Scot that would be a choice for Scots to make if they feel persuaded to do so. You, you might say that if you feel nationalistic, uh, what price can you place on national self-determination? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the point I would make is that, is that um, equally passionate are unionists in Scotland who define their identity as part of the shared heritage of the four nations of the British Isles. Yeah, that's uh, what, I can yes, what I can. Yes, I can see actually so. the major uh, decision actually is is done by Scottish. As as you know, this is mm. is all of this uh, agreement happened earlier, mm. and there is the major thing they cannot take decision only in foreign policy, I think defence one mm. and foreign trade any 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 agreement, mm. but says so is is education, agriculture, environment, mm. uh, uh, their uh, housing system. Mm. Mm. Uh, at the, or social welfare, they cannot. Mm. Actually, they can uh, take their around 65% of, I mean, daily life, all of this decision making, they mm. can do. Yeah. So, uh, why do you think this, after 300 years, this is the time 
actually they want to get out from the UK? Well, I, I'm not sure they do want to get out of the UK. I think what, they, what, what people in Scotland want is a, is a measure of self-governance because they feel that they, they, they can do some things differently. Crucially, areas like defence, foreign policy, uh, trade, uh, immigration and asylum, mm -hmm. I think, as well. Most of fiscal policy, macroeconomic policy, is still, mm -hmm. uh, are still reserved United Kingdom matters. Um, but I, I would say there is nothing inconsistent with having a devolved administration in Scotland and there being a a United Kingdom, uh, by, by not only in terms of its identity, but in terms of its internal coherence. All right, a quick asking, Matthew, do you think it's going to, if, if it goes to yes, will it create any constitutional crisis? Yes, it absolutely will do, and, and in a number of different ways. Um, it's unlike, I mean, a vote for independence in Scotland doesn't mean that Scotland ceases to be part of the United Kingdom anymore. It means that negotiations begin over yeah, its terms. It's of around one year and one well, on two years. Well, time it, very, very possibly even longer. Um, uh, yeah. and, and, and obviously the UK general election will take place in less than a year's time. Yeah. So there may be Scottish MPs that are elected to the House of Commons okay. who will then not be MPs after separation, which, 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 which would be a, which, which would be a peculiar chaos, state of yeah. precisely. Yeah. So that would be the first order crisis. This, the second point I'd make is this, and this is, this is perhaps one of the strongest arguments against separation. Uh, if you look at um, uh, the separation of uh, Czech, the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic in the 1990s, you had a separation that was uh, drawn out in terms of negotiations over a decade, over 300 different treaties governing their bilateral relations, okay. dominating their domestic affairs. I think there are bigger questions for both Scotland and the rest of the UK to think about than dividing up the spoils. We, we, we don't need elections dominated for the next okay. 10 years over internal right. disputes. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Monivai. Ashwale Amadeh Shomoyer really Sholpota. আর এটা আসলে আমাদের প্রত্যেকটা প্রোগ্রামে থাকবে এভরি টিউসডে আমাদের স্কটল্যান্ডে একটা টপিক্স থাকবে সেপ্টেম্বরের আঠারো তারিখ পর্যন্ত তো আমি আমাদের ভিউয়ারদের প্রতি বলতে চাই একটা কথা যে আমাদের আসলে জানেন আমাদের মেজর পার্টি বলেন আপনার কনজারভেটিভ বলেন লেবার বলেন লিপডেম বলেন প্রত্যেক লিডারই তারা তারা দে ওয়ার্কিং টুগেদার দে ওয়ান্ট টু সাপোর্ট ফর ইয়েস দে ওয়ান্ট টু লিভ টুগেদার আর দে দেয়ার ইজ এ লং হিস্ট্রি আসলে তারা একসাথে বসবাস করছে একসাথে তাদের পলিসি সারা পৃথিবীতে একটা ইউনাইটেড কিংডম হিসেবে একটা গৌরবের সাথে থাকতো আর আমি যদি আপনাদের একটা প্রাইম মিনিস্টার উনি নিজে তার যে একটা স্টেটমেন্ট দিয়েছেন যে একটা যে আসলে একা থাকার একতা থাকার জন্য সেটা একটা কোটেশন দিচ্ছে যে টুগেদার উই ক্রিয়েটেড ওয়ার্ল্ড ক্লাস ইনস্টিটিউশন লাইক এন এইস এস এন্ড বিবিসি হোয়েন ইউরো ফেসড ইস ডার্কেস্ট আওয়ার উই স্টিড টুগেদার অ্যাজ এ বিকন অফ হোপ উই ফুল টুগেদার ইন দিস ইউনাইটেড কিংডম হোয়েন ওয়ান অফ আস নিজ হেল্প we are there for each other. When poverty and disaster strike around the world, we are offering aid. We want Scotland to stay together. We are United Kingdom and United Future. Our Amra Ashakuri will be united. Our program is the next Tuesday. We will be able to talk about Scotland.